my desire is for this testimony not to be about me, but what our rock and our foundation has done in my life. Because I want to testify what the Lord has done on my behalf. Now, as we've been listening, there is a good foundation in the gospel of Christ. And the Lord has laid down a good foundation in his son to bring salvation unto man. To, lay, to build on this solid foundation is critical to growth in Christ. A skewed or unlevel foundation will slowly erode any kind of spiritual building or halt any further progress in Christ. And that's kind of where I want to start. Because the Lord put me in a good foundation. Going way back to uh, my ancestor, uh, Bishop um, uh, Hugh Latimer, who was known for his faith so much so that he was counted as one of the martyrs in the Fox's Book of Martyrs during the reign of Bloody Mary. And George and Tassie King, teachers at Missouri at, uh, Christ, at the Christian College, or OCC, always had this good foundation in Christ, always displayed this love that they had towards God in their everyday activities and actions, and anyone they met, you could see how good and a solid this foundation that they built on was. And my parents, who also graduated from the same college, my dad and mom had this passion and desire to serve Christ because of the foundation that was built in, well, that, that they built on in Christ that was in them. And so he went down to Texas and then back up to Indiana where I was born. Now, in my youth, I did not take advantage of the godly resources around me because going to church had no impact on me. I mean, I could put on a facade of godliness, and, but I was denying the power thereof. And it, was, and it didn't take long for wrath and malice to continue to rage, inside, to rage inside of me, and like the Gadarene demoniac who could not be bound by fetters or change, my carnal nature inside of me could not lastingly be resisted. This caused me to forsake the commandment of my father and the laws of my mother and to cause grief for my siblings and family all around me. Now, remember, a good foundation was laid in my ancestors, or rather set in my ancestors, grandparents, and parents. But I did not see the sense of it. It wasn't until Grandfather George died, our family started going to the Friday night meetings, then Sunday night, then it progressed on Wednesday night, and then we were regulars at the, at the Word of Truth Fellowship. But while going there, I saw something in the believers I did not have. This assurance, confidence, knowing where they were going, that was, was not present in me. Slowly the Lord showed me of his provisions, of faith, of prayer, of the gospel, the peace that he gives, that he gives the mind of Christ, and he also gives us the ability to renew that mind in Christ so that we can always overcome the sinful nature to continue to build on this foundation in his son. Now, up until this point, I thought my salvation was found in others' experiences like good, like my parents or other people, but I did not understand God did, does not have grandchildren. He has sons and daughters. Until I understood salvation through the gospel could only be obtained through the gospel of Christ, I continued in this downward spiral of sin, trying to be good, but not achieving the satisfaction one gets in being complete in Christ. Having this defiled conscience in me instead of a pure clean, undefiled conscience offered through the gospel of Christ. Unless there was an inward change, a clean heart, a new direction, a new creature, a complete transformation, nothing would nor could be done. When I understood what growth in Christ was, 
the Lord showed me when by faith I grasp a hold of the provisions that we have in Christ, such as saying no to sin, the provision of overcoming the flesh, the provision of feeding the new man while starving the old, the provision that temptations can be overcome, the provision of redeeming the time that was lost, the provision of trusting the Lord, the provision of having the mind of Christ and renewing that mind or being transformed by the renewing of that mind. And in all of this, holding on to these provisions that are ours in Christ, I slowly, the Lord positioned myself to look toward his son. Instead of, in the past, of being a captive of sin, I was now captivated by the, by the one true Savior. Because having a proper view of Jesus will always work a real and noticeable change in the believer. And as I kept on growing and growing and growing in the Lord, building on this foundation, when I went off to college, this only intensified my desire to separate myself from my peers, to have a righteous and pleasing life to God and Christ, which kept me from many temptations that I would have fallen prey to very easily in the past. This foundation stabilizes the soul. It is steadfast and sure and allows us to go on to perfection, not merely hoping in the flesh that we go on to perfection, but knowing that we have a sure and steadfast foundation in the Son. So thanks be to God for the overcoming power and the sure foundation that is found in his son.